competitive drum corps was straining to break out of the box in the early 70s, ready to free itself of the restrictive rules set by the American Legion and VFW posts that gave it birth. And we had uh, a group of uh, competitive units that wanted to compete against each other all the time and wanted to play by our own rules, the rules that we made. And we used to submit uh, recommendations to the American Legion and they frequently denied them or rejected them. So we got together and said it's time to control our own destiny. Well, in our 25th year, I, I've got to just reflect on 25 years ago coming to the stadium and hoping yes. that we would have a good turnout. <laughs> I selected this site to, because they were interested in a Drum Corps Midwest show. I came over here and said, you've got to be kidding. Do I have a deal for you? And we uh, talked and set up the infrastructure for the show. The finer memories are just the fraternity that we started then. 25 years ago, it was us against the world. He is one of the original six inductees back in 1985. He is also one of the founding figures of Drum Corps International, a founder and former director of the Blue Stars, and chairman of the DCI Hall of Fame Selection Committee, Dr. David Kanchler. Dr. K, welcome to Field Pass. Thank you very much, Dan, and uh, honored to be here and to make the announcement with you. Well, it's very exciting to have you make the announcement in this Field Pass exclusive. Before we get to the actual announcement, explain a little bit about how the Hall of Fame came about almost a quarter century ago. Oh, my goodness. A, a, a cute anecdotal story. I was in Camp Randall Stadium uh, with family and my wife, and we were in the press box, and my wife uh, tugged at my show, uh, uh, sleeve and said, they're calling your name. Uh, well, as I found out, they were announcing the first Hall of Fame, and that was it. This is the true joy in life, the being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one. The being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish, little clod of ailments and grievances, complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live, it is my privilege, my privilege to do for whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die, for the harder I work, the more I live. I rejoice in life for its own sake. Life is no brief candle to me. It is a sort of splendid torch, which I've got to hold up for the moment. And I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations.